Welcome, little scientists. It's Miss Chisa. Today, we are going to read a story called The Bazaar, Life Cycle of a Salmon. And it's written by Mark Harasimi. An incredible journey. The life cycle of salmon is truly unbelievable. All salmon begin their life in a stream, lake, or some other body of fresh water. After hatching from eggs, salmon make the long, dangerous journey downstream to the ocean. After a period of time in the ocean, the salmon make another long journey upstream and return to the same stream or lake where they were born. Those that complete this journey find a mate, lay eggs, and die soon after. Most species or kinds of salmon are anadromous. This means they're born in fresh water, spend their adult lives in salt water, and then return to fresh water to spawn. When salmon can't swim past something, they jump over it. There are several different species of salmon. The Atlantic salmon is found only in the Atlantic Ocean. It's found throughout the North Atlantic. In European waters, it's found as far south as Portugal. In North American waters, it's found as far south as Maine. There are also salmon that live in the Pacific Ocean. These are the Chinook, Chum, Coho, Pink, and Sockeye salmon. Species of Pacific salmon are found in the United States, Canada, Russia, Japan, and Korea. Pink salmon were put into the Great Lakes in 1956. Some think this was an accident. They still live there today. This male sockeye salmon is swimming upstream to find a mate. Female salmon lay thousands of eggs in the gravel of the stream or lake where they were born. The young salmon, called fry, hatch after several weeks or months. Depending on the species, the fry stay in the gravel for a time living off their yolk sac. The fry of some species immediately swim to the ocean as soon as they leave the gravel. Other types remain where they are hatched for a period of time to feed on plankton, insects, and crustaceans. These growing salmon are called par. Young Atlantic salmon usually remain where they were born for one to two years. However, in some places, they remain for up to eight years before swimming to the ocean. While salmon fry are attached to their yolk sac, they don't have to eat. Salmon spend most of their adult life in the ocean. Their bodies change to help them live in salt water. These changes are called smolting. While in the ocean, salmon feed on small fish, water bugs, and crustaceans. They may stay in the ocean for as few as two years, like pink salmon, or as many as eight, seven years, like Chinook salmon. After their time in the ocean, the salmon return to the birthplace to spawn. Salmon spend their time in the ocean eating to prepare themselves for their long journey to spawn. Few salmon complete the journey back to their home waters. Some are eaten by other animals. Some die of sickness. Some die on the return journey. That's because most salmon species don't eat on the journey and many haven't stored enough fat to support themselves. Once at the spawning grounds, female salmon fight with other females for a good place to lay eggs. Male salmon fight other males to mate with the females. Salmon use their sense of smell to recognize their home stream. Only about one in every 1,000 salmon return to the water where they hatched. When the female salmon is ready to lay her eggs, she makes a nest called a red. She uses her fins and tail to make a shallow hole in the gravel. After she lays her eggs in the red, a male salmon adds cells called milt to them. The female then covers the eggs with gravel. The female and male do this several more times. In most species of salmon, the male and female die after all the eggs have been spawned. Female salmon commonly make four or five reds. These salmon have made it back to where they were born and are ready to do their part to start the next life cycle. On their journey back to their birthplace, salmon face hungry animals looking for a fishy meal. Many salmon are caught by bears, otters, and eagles. People like to fish for salmon too. 
Hydroelectric dams across rivers can make salmon's journey hard. Increases in water temperature and water pollution can also harm salmon. Because of all these dangers, salmon have become endangered in some areas and completely wiped out in others. Eating salmon is a great way for bears to fatten up before they sleep through the winter. People have recognized that salmon need help in parts of their life cycle, especially overcoming man-made problems. To help salmon swim past dams, people have built fish ladders. A fish ladder is a series of pools that salmon jump into so they can swim up and around the dam. They're somewhat like steps, but for salmon. People have already helped salmon by setting up hatcheries. Hatcheries are safe places for young salmon to live and find food, water, and space. Some salmon swim thousands of miles to reach their home waters. This can take months. People have made fish ladders like this one to help salmon pass dams. Salmon farms are another way people have helped salmon. The more fish are eaten from salmon farms, the fewer wild salmon have to be caught. Young farm salmon are raised in fresh water and then moved to saltwater cages when they become adults. There are downsides to salmon farming, however. Some fish escape the cages and eat wild salmon's food. The large numbers of salmon kept in cages can also lead to illness in the fish. This can spread to nearby wild salmon. About 60% of the world's salmon lives in fish farms. On the last page, you can read fun facts about the salmon. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel.